Hi guys, it's Cindy Leach, your Polymer Clay Tutor, and today on the PCT Road Trip, I am just finished shopping here at Shipwreck Beads in Lacey, Washington, and I am tired because this place is amazingly huge, but I thought I'd stop here in the Polymer Clay aisle because <laughs> that's a good spot to stop, of course. We, they carry Primo Clay, they have quite a few tools and rubber stamps and things. Um, they've got renaissance wax and gilder's paste which i got some more of oh one little thing i got was um one of these little rubber stamps and actually becky sue said when you're at shipwreck beads pick up one of these little uh rubber stamps they've got um they're perfect for making earrings and little pins and stuff so i thought i better get one they've also got i also got all kinds of different findings and things um and some of it I'm going to be doing tutorials on, some are I'm going to be doing uh, vlogs on and videos. Um, I've got some really nice um, Tierra cast findings here that would be perfect for putting some polymer clay in. Some different sizes. Um, here's some open back ones and a bunch of different ones in here. And they've got this little system if you've got to pick out things from all of their tiny little drawers you just write the number of the code that's on the bin and then you put your little number on and I see I missed the number on that one there and then I've got a new macrame board let's see what else for I was going to do some micro um, micro macrame for um, some bracelets and stuff that we can put some polymer clay beads into. I've got some tools, things like the new big, big one step looper. I've got the small one. I'll show you a demo on that because those are neat. I've got some beading needles. Um, oh, another thing that they have here that's really beautiful and neat, I think would be great for polymer clay. They are bone hair sticks and you can, they've got a hole on the end of them and you can wire on beads and all kinds of things. I think I would like to attach polymer clay to those. I've got them in a few different colors. Um, I've got some, oh, and remember the beautiful vintage uh, seed beads we found, saw in the back warehouse? Well, here I got a few little packages of them. And I guess um, somewhere in here is some pink ones that are just really lovely. Ah, oh, they're buried. Also got some gorgeous hot pink fluorescent beads. I think those will be really fun to mix in with some um, polymer clay work. Get some get some of the work to really pop. Got some hair pieces things. I don't. I've got a, a fire brick for soldering on. I've been using a regular brick, and the brick is cracking. So I want to be able to use a, a, the real thing. So I finally got that. Um, what else did I get? Oh, a few other cool things. There is um, a necklace sizer. Oh, and this is, I've been waiting for this. It's a Lindstrom. Uh, they're Lindstrom shears and they're for cutting uh, sheet metal. Copper up to 18 gauge, I believe. And they're a really high quality um, tool and I've been dying to have it. So finally got that. So there's lots of good stuff in here. I hope you are enjoying what you're seeing here. You will love this shop if you get a chance to come down here and see it or if you go online. And if you have, if you saw anything here that you want me to demo first or do tutorials on, do um, let me know in the comment section below. And also if you like this video, let me know in the comments. And don't forget about our great resource over at polymerclaytutor.com where you can use the search box and find all your answers to all your polymer clay questions. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.